Deadpool came out. I saw it. Ian hasn't yet. That's okay. It was a fun romp of a time at the movies. It was uh, very, very laugh out loud funny. Very violent. Perfect tone. Uh, fourth wall breaking here and there. Some some genuine surprises at certain points. Colossus was awesome. Um, and then you had the, the nuclear, what is it? Teenage Warhead. Ne- Nexonic. Uh, Negasonic ne- Teenage Warhead. Uh, was in it. Um Ryan Reynolds obviously carried that movie. I'm not sure anyone else could have done it justice the way he did. I mean, he was the character. He really showed how much love and care that, that he wanted to make that movie for the past freaking seven years after the abysmal portrayal of him, him at the end of uh, Wolverine Origins when they had basically a stuntman do it and sewed his mouth shut. And Ryan Reynolds was like, no, that's going to be awful. You guys are going to get so much backlash. And they didn't listen to him. And, of course, they got so much backlash at that. So... It did huge numbers. They're like the biggest R-rated movie opening, like ever. Wow. Um, and it's over like I think like five or six hundred million already in like in like two weeks for an R-rated movie. That's insane. That is for less than two weeks. So, and the budget was only about fifty to sixty million, and it showed because there was only like two major set pieces in the movie. Like they really had to hide the fact that this was not a two hundred million dollar superhero movie. This was a couple of of a uh, action scenes, a couple of big action scenes, and then you had like a montage of smaller action scenes, and half the movie was Ryan Reynolds with the mask off that they had flashback stuff. They really had to massage the plot to sort of make the fact that, that we, don't, we don't have a big budget here, folks. I mean, you're lucky you're getting this movie at all, basically. That's right. basically how it looks. But but no, it, it got the job done, though, uh, for what it was. And they're already planning a sequel to come out in 2018. Or 2017. 2000, I think it's 2000. I think it could be 2017, maybe a year and a half. I don't know, but they're already pushing forward with it. And so much so that they're really... It's funny because the, all the insiders, uh, the Hollywood insiders are like, well, we're so shocked the movie did this well. And even guys like James Gunn are like, you guys are fucking idiots. It's a good movie. That's why. Yeah. It, that's why it's done so well. Never mind the fact that it's an R-rated... They don't understand the fact that, well, it's an R-rated superhero movie. They're making fun of the genre. That alone isn't why it's made the money. It's the fact that it's a good movie. It's faithful. It's faithful to the character and source material. So there's there's a danger that when this shit happens, that you're gonna have copycats come out, where oh you're gonna have like all these, uh, uh, you know, acerbic uh, superhero movies that are gonna be terrible. But I, I don't see that happening just because they're all tied up now for the most part between uh, Disney and Warner Bros. So I don't see that automatically happening. Right. Uh, unless you have some sort of like one-off characters from the freaking Image comics come in, but they they would bomb terribly if they tried something similarly. So, but the other good news from this is that uh, they announced that the third and final Wolverine movie is going to be R-rated, and that's going to come out next year. I think that's fairly necessary. I I, I think that limiting a a, a quality Wolverine storyline to the restraints of PG-13 is doing a great disservice to the character. Um, I know you don't like him, but he is a good character when he is handled well. I like, I, that, did you see the second movie? You see the Wolverine? I did not. You like the character, you didn't see it. It was a really good movie. Really good. Um, the fact that there was not a lot of blood and stuff, you can cut around it, but yes, it would have done well to have more blood and stuff, but no, it was really good. It was obviously a huge step up from Wolverine Origins, which was a fucking disaster of a film in 2009. Um, it was a lot better, and Hugh Jackman obviously plays the character well, but he's gonna go out, and that'll be his, his last, his last time doing it, because he's been playing the character for 16 years, I mean, yeah. but he still looks, he's more ripped than he was when he did it when he was 30, but now he's like 45, and you know, he probably do it another five, eight years with the shape he gets into for these, but he's going to go out in style. Um, but I think what it shows, that, though, is that you, you shouldn't be afraid to do an R-rated superhero movie. No. U- usually, they're always afraid to do R-rated movies because, yes, R-rated movies, by and large, do less money because less people can see it. You can't have kids come and see it unless you're with an adult. They can get, But overall, some people are turned off by it, even though there's a huge amount of fucking violence in so many PG-13 movies. And all those superhero movies that are PG-13, so many people die in them horrifically. In Age of Ultron, a guy gets his arm ripped out by Ultron. That's violent. Yeah. The only difference is that there wasn't blood gushing out, but his arm was still ripped out of its socket. You know, like it's still horrific violence. But that's what people always say, that they, oh, they make less money. But I think that could change a little bit for something like this. Yeah, you can't do it with every single superhero movie. I mean, obviously the main Marvel Universe movies would do well to stay at PG-13 for maximum earnings. And really, it's kind of Marvel's current image in the, their mainstream comics. But 
something like Wolverine or Deadpool, like or or a Punisher. These are all characters that could do an R-rated movie just fine. 